I make your ideas in Minecraft? Are they stupid? Are they crazy? Are they insane? They are one thing. They are your ideas. Let's take a look. Woo! We have three ideas that we're going to go through today. We're going to make a custom cauldron that you have to, you can put milk into and you can go into that cauldron to cure your potion effects. That's step number one. Step number two, this is closely related to the milk cauldron, okay? You can throw in salt into that cauldron and it's going to turn into cheese. And you right click and you get that cheese out and you eat that cheese. And when you eat that cheese, when you spawn in the world, you have a, I don't know, like a... 35% chance or something to be lactose intolerant. And if you do that, then the cheese will always, um, will always make you sick. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. You're living in a dream world. Listen, I'm a, I'm a Barbie girl living in a Barbie world. Everything's plastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> I don't even Guys, I don't even... <laughs> let's just get started over here. A custom cauldron. I've never added this, but honestly, let's first of all add the ideas. Uh, the, the items over here, okay? We need salt, we need cheese, we need a cheese block. And then we'll see. There's the cheese block. Look at it! Let's go! Cheese and salt. Is Entity Inside? Oh boy, that is really useful. What the heck? Is Entity Inside content? Okay, that is really good. That's actually, like, incredibly useful. Cauldron block. I think I'm just gonna make it a cauldron block. Let's just make a cauldron block and let's see. Cauldron interactions. Okay. It maps an item to a cauldron interaction. So right now I just have the interact method implemented. Right now what I'm thinking about is adding the same map right here. Basically, they're literally just doing this and just saying like, a, this is the milk map and maybe like, I don't know, public static, I guess. Um, and then just doing this, right? So now I have an interaction map and to initialize it, I'm going to do the same thing that they did, which is a public static void bootstrap method, which is going to be milk dot put mod items dot no, no items dot milk bucket. And then what happens? Fill what? Wait, can I just do a yeah, because that's going to then use the 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 interact method. This one right here for when you right click with a milk bucket. Absolutely. This makes perfect sense. A thousand percent. Now, the real question is what happens if I right click with a with a bucket? That's the question. So that would be the fill bucket. Where is this used? Fill bucket, water bucket. Can I just copy this? Um, it just returns true. Freaking phenomenal. There you go. Return true. That should do it. I think I'm just going to pass the, 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 uh, the stack through here. Me and the boys just passing it through. Exactly, man. Exactly. I'm just going to do it in the, uh, in the common setup on queue work runnable. I feel like that makes the most sense because not doing it here, just it just feels... It feels wrong. I think this would be the correct moment to do it. Milk, cauldron interaction, dot bootstrap. Bam, done. Yeah, I know I can change it, but that's fine. Right click with a milk bucket. Turns in normal cauldron. Oh, wait a second. Normal cauldron. Oh, wait a second. I have to add something to the empty one to do that. Not to the milk. That doesn't make any sense. This has to be added to the, mi to the, to the empty bucket. This has to be empty. There it is. Yeah, right? Am I crazy? No, this has to be it, right? Empty. Or am I understanding this? Yeah, no, no, no. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Empty, put lava bucket, and then you... Okay, I am genius. Okay. The question is, this, is this going to work? Maybe. And now the bootstrap method 100% makes sense to be called in the onkey work runnable, because otherwise you're going to be absolutely, completely bonkers. Are thou feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Exactly. This should just work. Oh, wait. Will it? No, it will not. It will not. But it will if I do this. Oh, baby, let's go. We have, a, I'm telling you, this should be a milk cauldron block working. Now, here is the moment of truth, okay? Will I be able to use my milk bucket and right click on a cauldron to get a milk cauldron? Let's go! It works! Oh my god, that's freaking fantastic! We now have a milk cauldron, guys. Can I get, step into it? Can I go into it? I can't. Well. This is gonna be milky. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's 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 move on from this, okay? The milkman. Let's go. That's uh that that's the real gangster name. Say my name, milkman. You're goddamn right. Okay, so now the question is though, is this going to work? That is always the question, right? Is this going to work? So we're gonna have salt right here, potions. But first of all, we have three different effects applied to us. If I now jump into this, that's a little, I mean, I mean, it does it, but it's not, um, wait, is this? <laughs> that's so stupid. 
<laughs> no! Yay, we made sheets. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's a little weird. Kind of like that. Maybe I want to have the height a little bit less. It seems so far above it, though. Look at this. Like, it's like... It's like an entire block above. Count me, you are being such a silly billy. You are not calling the is entity inside content in the entity inside method. But wait a second. Wait. Oh, you're right. Oh, so you do have to check for that. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I thought that the entity inside method would already be dependent on the is entity inside content method. But I guess that's not the case. You know what? That's fair. Uh, point 0.5. Yeah, I think point 0.5 is fine. Okay. Now, because Turdy Wordy has saved the day, we're now going to be able to do this. Okay, now. Now. Oh, oh, oh. Behold the milk bucket and the cauldron of milk, which is... Okay, that's great. Let's go! That is freaking fantastic. Okay, that's still... Okay, that might be a little bit too early still, but you know what? I think that's going to be pretty good. So when is this going to, like, happen? I think it happens, like, pretty early on, but it doesn't feel good. I don't... I, 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 have, a, I have a bad feeling about this. But does it milk? You can milk it if you want. Use a trapdoor for easier entry into the cauldron. Genius! Please don't say the M word. Moist? Or milk? Now it worked, but what, what, when does it work? No, no, that's not right. Okay, I think that that's better, right? Yeah, that's better. I think that that's better. So that at least needs needs you to like insert yourself into the milk. All right, like look at this. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can like put away the 0.5, but just like just like getting it like just right. I know that it's like absolutely just not needed, but like 0.3, maybe that's going to work. Maybe that's going to be like completely like you have to go balls to the wall completely inside the milk for it to work. Okay? Like com like just dive right in right into the milk like like basically are s submerged right completely wet there's nothing sticking out at the top anymore you have a cauldron which we can fill with milk okay this is milk i can step into the milk with different effects and it's going to wait just just give it a second just give it a second just one second it's going to cleanse me of those effects when i step into the milk and you know what it's also going to do? When I put in salt, you know what's going to happen? It turns into a freaking cheese cauldron! Let's go, baby! Look at this! That's what you want to see! What do you do with this cheese cauldron? Oh, I don't know. You right-click it and get cheese out of it! Let's freaking go, man! Cheese for everyone! Well, Mr. Kargi, why did you come to my lair? And are we going to do some Minecraft modding today? Or are we going to turn the milk into cheese? I'm going to over cheese the whole world and then no one is going to stop me. Mm. There you go. After that villain impression, instantly sub. <laughs> you know, that's fair. That's actually very fair. Bro, I have like the best idea ever. Okay. I have the best idea ever. Nah, you guys, you guys don't even know. What if instead of making it lactose intolerance right now, because I, I kind of don't want to add that. What if I make it if you put fire under a cheese cauldron, right? If you put fire under it, it turns into melted cheese and you can right click with what can you like eat melted cheese with? Like a cheese, what is it called? A fondue, right? Like what, what do you put in there? Like fondue sticks or something. What if I do that? If I want to make this proper, I have to make this a block entity. Okay, so this would be the cheese cauldron block entity. Okay, you want to see how fast I mod? This is how fast I mod. Public static final. Right here, register entities. Block entities. Entity, entity, block entities. Entity, 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 7 minutes, 38 seconds, and 72 milliseconds. And now behold, because uh, it's gonna work the first time. This is what you love to see. You get yourself... Oh boy. Oh boy, getting some fire over here. And now look at this. And we have molten cheese! It looks horrible, but it's molten freaking cheese, okay? It worked. That's what, that's what happened. This is molten cheese. You didn't believe me! 
but it's molten cheese. Now, just because it looks bad doesn't mean that it has to be bad. So now we have molten cheese, and now we just need the bread with uh, with cheese. Uh, we're gonna try to. I'm gonna see if there's a, an un unused texture. If there's a like a cheese bread or something. Cheese bread. You, you all thought I was insane. You thought I was crazy. You thought I would never be able to do it. You said I could not harness the power of cheese bread. And now, now look at you. Now is the time. If the player dot get main hand item dot is items dot bread, then p player dot get main hand item dot shrink by one and also spawn a bread actually. Uh, should I just spawn it or add it to the player's inventory? I'm just gonna spawn it. So you get one cheese bread out of one molten cheese cauldron. It's done! We have done it! We have molten cheese! We have arrived in the future. The future is here! Just you wait. Just you wait. There it is. My molten cheese. Now, I shall be making delicious cheese bread! Let's go! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. The cheese mod made by the one and only Kaumdro. I, I can't eat it right now. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. The cheese mod made by Kaumdro. And it tastes freaking fantastic. That's what it is. Okay? 